All right, earlier we were asking ourselves the question, will these multiply, all right? And I had a bunch of them listed out here, and we decided that A, B, one of them that we were looking at, it will work because we have three rows by three columns times three, three rows by two columns. So the threes in the middle, the uh, columns in the first and the rows in the second matched up. And then that gave us a matrix, which will be three, one, two, three rows by two columns, okay? So I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger and we're gonna actually do the multiplication. And you'll see why this has to be bigger here in a second. Hopefully that's big enough. Okay, so when I do this multiplication, the way it works is to get this first kind of entry, I might do, here's one, here's two. It's gonna look like that with kind of six elements in there. Again, three rows by two columns. And the way I do this is for this first part, right? Remember this would be like A11. Uh, it's gonna be the first, uh, the first row in our first one times the first column in the second one. And when we say that, or when we do it, it's going to be like this. We're gonna take this first element four we're going to multiply that times the first element over here too. It's almost like we're taking this column times this row. So four times two, and then we're going to add these up plus the next one, two times four, zero, or plus zero times six. Okay, so that's why I need a lot of room because it's going to take a little bit here. Um, and we can get this to be, let's see, eight plus eight, plus uh, zero, eight plus eight is 16. So how about I do this equals, like a small one over here, this will be 16. And then eventually we'll fill these all out. Okay, the next spot is going to be, it's still, if you think about this, this is gonna be A sub uh, one, two, for the first row, second column. So for that, I have to take my first row, but then over here, I'm gonna multiply it times the second column going to be this one. So again, four times negative three is what I'm thinking. Two times zero plus two times zero plus zero times negative one. All right, if I do the multiplication in addition here, we have negative 12 plus zero plus zero is just negative 12 in that top right spot. Okay, moving along, this is going to be a sub Two, one. So now I'm going to go to my second row, multiply it times my first column, and here we have three times two, which is six. I might just do the math uh, in my head a little bit. Plus six times four, 24. And then one times six is six. Six plus 24 is 30. 30 plus six is 36. All right. This would be the next spot, A sub two, two. So the second row, second column. So I erase this, we're gonna do three times negative three, negative nine. Six times zero is zero, plus zero. One uh, times negative one is a negative one. Negative nine plus zero minus one is negative 10. All right. And then I get to this bottom one. This is A sub three, one. So the third row, and my first one times my first column in the second. And if I do the math here, negative two times two is negative four. Bad four. Negative four plus uh, four times four is 16. Plus negative one times six is a negative six. Put that parentheses, it's a negative by a positive. Negative four plus 16 is 12. 12 plus a negative six or 12 minus six is just six for the bottom left spot. Then the last one, this would be A sub uh, three, two. So again, third row, second column, multiply these together. Negative two times negative three is a positive six. Four times zero is zero. Negative one times negative one is a positive one. Six plus zero plus one is seven. 
All right, so when I multiply these together, remember we're gonna end up with a three by two matrix, and we do three by two, and then after doing all the math, gotta multiply those two elements together and add them up uh, for each position, we end up with this matrix with those elements.